What is going on, folks? It's your boy Luke here, or I'm All Star 100, coming at you with a brand new LEGO Star Wars alternate build video. It has certainly been a minute, folks, but as requested by several of y'all, today we are taking a look at my build for set 75267, the Mandalorian Battle Pack. This set came out in January 2020 and includes 102 pieces and retails for 15 US dollars, though you can sometimes find it for 20% off on Amazon or at Walmart. This set is definitely a fan favorite. It was sold out and hard to find for quite some time after its release. I finally got mine a few weeks ago, and I am so happy I did. The minifigure selection in this set is phenomenal. Now, when I first saw the Mandalorians, I wasn't super impressed, honestly, but once I had them in hand and I realized that these guys are freaking dope, man. They're really great and detailed printing on all of them, and the colors look a lot better than I thought they would based off the pictures, so... Yeah, very impressed. There's a lot of possibility to change around prints and substitute colors if you wanted to give some variation to these Mandalorians. The build itself is alright. Uh, it's very reminiscent of the OG Mandalorian Battle Pack, 7914 from 2011, with the four identical Death Watch Mandos. I like the turret and rifle build included in that set a lot better than the rubble cover spot thing in this one. The speeder's cool, but... It's nothing spectacular. Like I said, something we've seen before, just in a slightly different color. But it's the minifigures that really sell this set. They are so great. The build's pretty mediocre, so I decided to change it up. Go ahead and make this. Boom! The Mandalorian Speeder. This bad boy can take multiple Mandalorians with some solid firepower and coverage to keep our Mandos safe. With its sleek and slim design, it can quickly get our boys to where they need to be. Let's jump in and take a closer look. All right, and here she is up close and personal. Now, I really like the unique shaping of this build, especially with the slope piece I used in that sort of tail with some hinged wing pieces to add some cool detail. It almost looks like a sort of sea creature with a stinger at the end. I'm just really happy with the way it turned out. Starting off at the front, we got the main firepower with two mounted stud shooters on either side and a center blaster to secure a landing zone. Now the sides are pretty much identical. There's a lot of slopes to add some detail and texture. Um, but yeah, there's also some slight color variation you can see there on, on the sides with some more of those slope pieces, but that's just due to the pieces provided in the set and the way that the speeder looks. All right, and taking a look at the main part of the build here, or the interior, I guess you could call it, there's some space for a pilot with the essential handlebars to control the speeder, as well as space for two, maybe even three Mandalorians if you get creative with it. Again, taking a look at the back, there's some nice detail there with the little tail piece, that one by, or two by three slope piece, as well as the hinged wings there. Very nice touch, I, if I do say so myself. Um, I especially like the use of those modified 1x2s with the bar sticking out. Brickset calls it a mini handle piece, but um, that's stupid, so my names are better. Yeah. <laughs> On the bottom here, there is an inverted slope piece right there, um, and some angle plates to these get bad boys, our angle plates. Once again, according to Brickset, you know? Um, and yeah, randomly I threw in. There's a random clip piece just to kind of stabilize everything. Um, you know, I, could, I didn't really have another spot for that. I'm sure you could find a place to put it. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of just what I went with. So it's nice and stable. It stands up. You're not going to knock it over or anything like that. So very nice. All right, and that concludes the close-up. So, yeah, that's just about it, folks. I just want to say thank you so much for checking out my alternate build video. These are always a lot of fun to do, and I think this one turned out really well. It's a cool little build with a lot of nice details, especially given the pieces available. And I really cannot stress enough how dope these minifigures are. I mean, like, with the different colors and those cape pieces, man, just wow. But, uh, yeah, honestly, like I said at the beginning of the video, I was not super impressed when I first saw pictures of the set. But now that I have it, I liked it so much I got another one. So, yeah, the plan with that is to do a multi-build with two of these bad boys. And, uh, yeah, you're not going to want to miss out on that, so make sure to hit that subscribe button right now if you are new. You do not want to miss that. So, yeah, let me know what you think of my build in the comments below, and uh, let me know what other sets you would like to see me do alternate builds or multi-builds for in the future. 
Thanks for watching. And if you're not sticking around for the build tutorial, as always, have a great day. We will see you next time. Peace.